Games. What is up guys? It's Solid Nate and you're watching Linda aka The Gamer Girl. Hello everybody and welcome to the Glitchy Gamer Podcast. The podcast that glitches onto the channel every now and then. This is Linda aka The Gamer Girl and I have a special guest with me. Video Game Dust Sleeves aka Chris. What's up Chris? Hey, what's up, Linda? Thank you for having me on your show. Well, it was a pleasure. I'm grateful that you decided to be on the show. So, for those who don't know, we're going to talk about two video games that got greenlitted for a movie. Saints Row and Sleeping Dogs. For those who don't know, Saints Row had four games that were main storyline and Sleeping Dogs, I've yet to see a sequel, but for one thing that I've noticed, they haven't picked a cast, really. I mean, you only hear a couple people here and there that are maybes, and we're going to decide, should Saints Row have the main storyline be 1 and 2, or 3 and 4, and also who would be the cast members for that, and Sleeping Dogs, who is going to be the cast members. So, let's segue into Saints Row, Chris, and we'll start off with who do you think should be the main character? The boss, they called him. I think the boss should be Jackie Chan. <laughs> Jackie Chan? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said Jackie Chan. Oh my gosh. Old and crippled. <laughs> but that guy can fight. Very true. I don't care what you say. He does his own stunts. Come on, how many people do their own stunts? But he doesn't do his own stunts anymore. So I got you there. Maybe he does, and maybe he does. <laughs> but I would pick Troy Baker, the actual voice actor from 3. 2 and 3 is when he started talking. For those who don't know, the main character... Would be included in But the main character didn't talk in the first one at all. He just nodded his head. So I was like, they have to do maybe a little bit of the storyline from the first one, segue into the second one, but they have to have the person talk. So I would say, give me Troy Baker, man, for sure. And for Johnny yeah. Gat, man, Johnny Gat, I want the actual, also, same thing, Daniel Day Kim. He was Johnny Gat from... First one all the way to the end, so I want him to play the character. Johnny Gat. Who do I want to play him? Yeah. You're going to laugh. Okay. The Rock. The Rock? For real? Um, the Rock as Johnny Gat. Yes. <laughs> I think they go hand in hand. Oh, really? They're really, uh, what's the word? I can't think of the word. You know, The Rock would be better for Olog than for Johnny Gat. You think that? He's big, buff, and bald. <laughs> yeah, but he's a Russian. The Rock is not Russian. That don't matter. I'm just thinking about yes, body type. Come I'm on. thinking about body type. If you're thinking of because the rock is too all. big to be Johnny Gat. Johnny Gat. Yeah, but I'm not thinking of so much physique as I am mindset and the way he talks. True. But well, I think they're similar in that way. He would not rock Johnny Gat's hair. There's nobody who'd rock Johnny Gat's hair. He would. Yes, he would. He would not grow his hair out. He would not wear a wig. If all right, let's let's get it let's get it right here. Right when the rock started coming out, he had that poofy hairdo. I don't know if you remember. True. Very but a long true. time ago, he had a with a real big poof in the front. Yeah. Can you smell? Yeah. A little? So I really think they're really more similar than you think they are. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So for Julius, I'm thinking 
Well, see, Keith David did the voice for Julius, but I'm thinking Edmund Walker. You probably don't know who he is, but he was in a couple like. I don't know uh, who he is. Yeah, he's he's a, a voice like he he does some voice acting, but he did a um, couple. I think he was in, you know, uh, Medea movies. He was in a couple Medea movies. Oh yeah, I know Medea. You never saw a Medea movie. I saw, um, I forget which one. I think it was the first one that they came out with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody watches the first one. Who would you have? For for Julius, I had Denzel Washington. Oh, that's a good pick. Yeah. That is a good pick right there. I I think he has, like, he matches the character perfectly. Oh yeah, he he's he's very hardcore when he needs to be, but he can still be soft and chill. Now for Benjamin King, I had Terry Crews, because Terry Crews did do the voice acting after too. Because unfortunately, Michael passed away. Benjamin King, I had Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, I see where you're going with that one. I I I concur. If they had a pick, okay. Now for my favorite Nightblade, Josh Beck. Josh Burke. I picked Ryan Reynolds. Recognize the name. Who? What did he play in? I recognize the name. Ryan Reynolds was Deadpool for the. Okay. Need not say more. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that quirky um, sense of humor. Yeah, I mean, he, he played Deadpool yeah. perfectly. And he could rock a suit, and he can do sword My fighting. Pick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My pick for that is Robert Patterson. Ah, I see, I see. Would be the guy from Twilight. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know instantly. You didn't have to say. I knew who it was, man. <laughs> Glittery and everything. <laughs> Honestly, to be honest with you, I never watched Twilight. Not once. Not once. But I knew the actors from Twilight because it was so popular. Oh, yeah. That I put that I put him with Nightblade because it seemed like the right choice. Yeah, he actually he might be the new Batman, so you never know. They want to put him in a superhero suit. Yeah, I heard about that actually. That is crazy. So <laughs> you you know how many times they rebooted Batman? <laughs> a lot, a lot. In the same storyline every time. They always show the parents dying. Yes. And then they segue into him having I mean, a butler. I mean, that's that's typical Batman, though. That's that's how it's supposed to be played out, I guess you can say. But everybody knows the storyline pretty much. So it's like the hardcore fans are like, eh, really, again? Like me, I don't care. There's some fans that are like, no more showing me Batman's parents dying. <laughs> but I don't care. Me, I'm I'm good for entertainment. It doesn't matter. As long as it's decent, I'll watch it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now let's switch over to some of the female people. What about Shondi? I have Olivia Munn. Do you know who Olivia Munn is? Oh, I do not. She was on G4, and she's been in a couple, like funny movies and you'll see her and you go oh i know who it is olivia munn and yeah, more than likely I, i'm i'm really bad with names but if you tell me movies i could probably get a gist on where where she's from but you said g4 wow. yeah that was, it was a tv show that was all about video games back in the day and then it got canceled and then she g4 went, tv yes she was. Yeah, I think I remember her now. Yeah, you instantly. She's she was always there. 
And then she left. I still watch then... Euphoria TV a lot. Yes, I miss that show. The thing went bye bye. Ah, don't remind me. So, who do you have for Shondi? That one was kind of a tough one for me, but I ended up going with Scarlett Johansson. Okay. Okay. I mm. I wouldn't if, knock if you on that one her, either. It's Black Widow. Hell yeah. That's Black Widow. If nobody knows. Oh yeah, but actually, you know what's but, weird? Uh, Scarlett Johansson could be Kenzie also. And that, and that's why I was having like a little bit of a toss up. Yeah, I could see the toss up also because you have she could be Shondi, she could be Kenzie. I I would actually have her more as Kenzie because of her her hair and how she looks just like her. And and the only reason why I didn't put her is because there's somebody else in her spot <laughs> <laughs> that I put there. Yeah. Which I could probably switch those two because I didn't even think of it. I could have probably put the person that I put for Kenzie in Shandi's spot and the one for Shandi in Kenzie's spot because it probably makes more sense. Oh, hell yeah. Although, although, there's, um, Shandi was like a drug addict and a hoe. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it was kind of hard finding somebody that actually played that kind of part. There was very few people that had um, dreadlocks back in the day and, and did that. Right, and, and that's what made it so hard for me to pick somebody for her part. But I was thinking about who could play the part and then be funny at the same time and be hardcore and badass. And I was like, Olivia Munn. Well, and I think Scarlett could do it too because she does the badass part obviously and in most of the movies that she's she's been in she has like somewhat of a a funny sense of humor yeah and she did play a couple lead roles where she was in sticky situations but she got out of them right. so so who do you have for Kenzie Alicia Silverstone Ali <laughs> Silverstone. That's Batgirl. Come on. Really? Clueless? <laughs> really? I'm not thinking of her in Clueless. I'm thinking of her in Batman. Uh, nah. What I if see I took it. her and put her in Shondi's spot and put Charlotte in Kenzie's spot? Still no. I no. still say no. Mm -mm. I can't see her. I can't see her. You really can't see her as Kenzie? No. Not Seriously? at all. No. She played Oracle. She no. played Oracle. No. And the reason why is because of the simple fact that Kenzie is very quirky. And she plays like ditzy. More than she's ever played Corky. Like, Kenzie's always underneath a table, yeah, chilling in a dorm. And played Ditsy and Batman. No, but that was because she was just hardcore ruthless the whole time. She wasn't, she wasn't. So that's the thing is, I can't see her being, you know, like how Kenzie is. Kenzie is very Ditsy, but when she needs to do something analytical, she'll like bust out the numbers and just start going crazy with the servers. I can't see her doing that. Sure. You want to know who I picked? Her. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, first I picked Vanilla Ice. No. Then I crossed him out, and I put Chris Evans. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Vanilla Ice for sure, no, but Chris Evans, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're funny. Okay, so let's switch over to Olak, the big beefy dude. I have Dave Batista. <laughs> I knew that make you laugh. <laughs> yeah. 
That's a good pick. Oh, yeah. I could see him just screaming and running for no reason. I was like, that's Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Who did you pick? I have... I have... Zhang Leaf. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. I don't thinking know. That I would pick, you weren't thinking I would pick a Street Fighter character, would you? No. But are you talking about the actor but who the played guy him? That did the voice? No, I'm actually talking about the actual character from the game. <laughs> but <laughs> if you go with the guy, the guy that did his voice is actually Rich Moore. Because he played the voice in... Wreck It Ralph. His voice in Wreck It Ralph, Zangleaf. Yeah. So if you go by that, that voice, and if you brought Zangleaf to life, I think he could play <laughs> this part pretty good. <laughs> no, you can't pick characters from movies and TV shows and video games that are cartoons, man. You got to pick an actual person. Is an actual person. I could see you picking the guy who actually plays Zangief in the movies, the Street Fighter movie. You know what? I forgot about that. I forgot there was even a Street Fighter movie. <laughs> yes. So let's stick with that guy then. Let's okay. let's say I picked him. Okay. I'll take that one. Since you don't want to let me pick a Street Fighter character. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Now the funniest one. Zemos. I had Jamie Foxx. Uh. <laughs> uh, okay. You see where I'm going you're with probably, Jamie Foxx? I don't know. You probably... Yeah, I see exactly where you're going with him. <laughs> um, for me, you you probably might know who this is. The Godfather. And I'm not talking about the Godfather from the Mafia movies. I'm talking about the Godfather from WWF. Oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> His name is Charles Wright. Yes, I know and exactly who you're talking about. He would, he would come down and say, I'm aboard the whole train. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was before WWF got censored badly about every single stupid thing. Because remember, Shawn Michaels would be doing the stupid gestures with, like, you know, him, like, acting like the, the audience members are jerking him off. Yeah. <laughs> that they, was like, so they bad got back in the day. Everything. 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 When I was, like, when I used to watch wrestling, this was back in um, late 80s, all the way up to probably 2000s, before they got censored. Um no, they started getting censored around 96, good. 97. Really? I thought yeah. it was later than that. No, because you started seeing them like... I didn't know that. I thought it was later. No, it, it, you started noticing like they were starting to do less and less, but it was still... How do I put it? It was still going on. It was just... They got away with every now and then. They weren't doing it every show. Like the early 2000s, Shawn Michaels was getting yelled at a lot because you could tell like he was still doing the stupid crap but he was like getting away with it but then it slowly started like every show was just getting censored for every little stupid thing yeah i like i said i i, I watched it up to the point where it really got bad oh i can't watch it now pretty much it went from, right pretty much it went from really good acting i guess you can call it to really bad acting um, and there was a point in time when wrestling was actually wrestling and it wasn't like fake. <laughs> well, they although thought, most people call it fake. It is. It was fake all the way. It was just, they were better at like playing off each other. If you could say it, like they would actually slap. They would actually like cut themselves and stuff like that and make it really, really gory for, for the fans. 
and now you can't do it as much. My pick was pretty good, The Godfather. Okay, I I will say you got that one for sure. So now we're gonna segue into Lynn. I have Jamie Chung. She is a young actress that you probably never heard of, but she's in a lot of preteen TV shows slash teen movies. And I had Lucy Liu. Oh, hell yes. Lucy Liu would be good. But the one thing, though, Lucy Liu is also in Saints. Like, from Saints Row, she's also in Sleeping Dogs. So... <laughs> A crossover. <laughs> oh yeah. So let's see. I think the last one is Dex. I picked Michael Early. Picked Anthony Mackey. Oh, that's a good one. It took me a while. It took me a while to come up with him, but I think he fits the he fits the bill. Yeah. Oh, and let's not forget Pierce for the grand finale of cast members. Who would you pick for Pierce? So I pick Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel? For real? Yes. Do you did yes. you not see who Pierce looked like? Yes, I've seen who Pierce looked like, but we're not going by looks. Wow. Well, at least not this time. <laughs> that is way off, bro. No way, Vin Diesel. For one, he's too short. Way too short. No, 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 no. I would have... Play like, the part, I'm telling you. No, he cannot play the part. No way. No flipping way. I'd rather have the voice actor... I can't even say his name. Was it Erf or something like that? I'd rather have him, the original voice actor, play it. And he looks nothing like Pierce. Funny thing is, I, I didn't think of looking at the voice actors, so I don't know what any of these voice actors look like. Oh, I know. They don't. Well, they have similarities to what they the characters look like, but they, they look a little different. Um, gaming, gaming companies tend to do that, and, and that goes for uh, any animational kind of movies. They tend to make the character look like the actress or actor. Yeah. It's very rare that I mean, the ones they're sense. off a little bit. Say. Yeah, it does because then you can go, hey, well, because the only ones that are a little bit different are um, Olog looks nothing like at all the guy because the guy's super skinny, has hair, he's completely different, but everybody else looks exactly like that. But who, for the movie, do you think they're going to be more like one and two or three and four? I want to say three and four. Really? Yeah. Or or I would even go say two and three. Oh, uh, true. Because it would be cool because you can come straight out of the prison. That was a good scene. And then jump straight into the boat and then be going. And then you have to like rebuild Saints Row. I can see where you're going with that. Because one, you don't really want to be the entry level kind of person for the movies. And you want to, like, build your way up. You're like, nah. So, you already, like, Saints Row got demolished. You build it up and you became the boss. And then it's, like, funny, quirky stuff. That could be cool. So, now we're going to segue into Sleeping Dogs. So, we're going to start off with that Donnie Yen was already picked. He has been tweeting about it, texting, like, multiple people. And... He automatically has said that he's working on the... So I think he's the lead. So we're going to pick like the side characters. And those are Jackie and I believe it's Tang or Teng. If I am saying it correctly. So who do you have for Jackie? Sin Chan. That's actually the voice actor. Oh, see, I picked the same one. <laughs> That's cool. So, who do you have for a Tang? 
Exactly who? <laughs> See, I would say because Lucy Liu was a voice actor for another character, but I think Lucy Liu could pull it off and be the that character. I can actually see that too. See, the thing is, is a lot of there was a lot of great voice actors in that are really amazing actors. So they could just ask all of them to come back, and I would be not at all mad about that decision. I have to agree with you because uh, the list looks pretty good. Yeah, there's James Hong, and he was in Kung Fu Panda. He was Mr. Ping. I don't know if you saw that movie. I have. Yeah, good he, movie. he was Mr. Ping, and then he was in Hawaii Five O. He was actually in a couple of video games. He was in Prey. Like he, like they need to bring them back, all of them, and just like say yes and have them everywhere already. I would totally watch that movie if everybody was back from the original voice cast. You never know; it might happen. I'm hoping, but the one thing that I've noticed is a lot of them are already signed on for something else. So you got to cross your fingers that it happens. Now, the one thing, though, is I'm hoping that it won't be like two years down the line that we start hearing more information. Because when I heard about Sleeping Dogs, it was like a year ago. And then again, like a little bit ago, they tweeted about it. Same thing with Saints Row. I heard like a oh. little like inkling. And then all of a sudden, boom. Are you talking the movie or are you talking? Movie. Are you talking the movie? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, I know they're, aren't they talking about a Sleeping Dogs 2 coming out for a video game? They talked about that for years. It's never happened, but that's because they didn't, I either they didn't think nobody was going to buy it or it just was taking so long to develop. But I have not seen or heard anything about Sleeping Dogs 2. And that's not a good thing. Oh, and that wouldn't help the movie thing either, to be honest with you. Well, I see where you're coming from, but it would not hurt it. Because of the simple fact that... If they did bring back any of the voice actors from the original first one... It would still be okay, because... All they do is just go into a booth and film for a couple hours. So they can literally just work it in between. Like have like a... Because they could take a month off for... Like a month or two off for hiatus. And then that's the time when they could film. When do you think we're going to hear about if... Because they tweeted about Saints Row. Having something like... You need to follow us to get the latest information. Do you think it's going to be a Saints Row 5 game or it's going to be the movie? Honestly, I think it's going to be another game before the movie. You think it's going to be 5 or it's going to if be a spin-off? I think it's going to be 5. Okay. But I'm thinking we might hear a little bit about the movie, to be honest, because they just said that they're going to have the director. They just announced a couple things, so... I'm hoping that it's number five, and I'm hoping that it's an alternate universe. For those who have not played Gat Out of Hell, there was like seven endings you could have, and one of them was an alternate universe where you go through, or at the end of four, they had time travel. So it's hard to say what they would do. What do you think they're going to do, Chris? Are they going to do alternate universe or time travel that's a mix-up in my opinion between both of those um because you can go either way uh, i want to say time travel i see where you're going with that because technically get out of hell was more of a dlc expansion pack and not very many people played that game so i would see where you're coming from because it was in the main storyline and a lot of people right. and weren't they out in space yeah in space yeah they literally blew up the world right. so there was nowhere to go right so you either had the alternate universe in get out of hell where 
he talked to God and God said, yeah, you can have the alternate universe. And he said, okay. And so then they come back as cops. They're no longer gang members. They're cops. But that's the one thing I think. I think it's going to be number four because of the simple fact that they blew up the world and there's nowhere else to go but to go back in time. Right, and that, and that would segue into the time travel. And maybe instead of them blowing up the world this time, they'll save it. That could be a cool game. I would totally play that. And then to see Pierce, two Pierces, two bosses, two Shandies. All that, I would totally dig. So, beautiful people of the internet, I think we're going to call it. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think Saints Row 5 is going to be? And do you think we pick some good cast members? Also, what do you think about the movies for Saints Row and Sleeping Dogs? This is Linda, a.k.a. The Gamer Girl. And you're listening to the Glitchy Podcast. And thank you, Chris, for being on the Glitchy Gamer Podcast. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya.